What's that? Do I have something on my face? Ew, what is that? What is you that on your eye? on your face. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like a tear. Could you please take care of that for me? Sure, just let me... There we go. Grab that with my giant, weird, creepy there man hand. <laughs> all right. Thanks. You're all I better. Hey, guys. It's Adam, a.k.a. Swimming Bird, and welcome back to Tomonachi Life. Last time, Dracula and Marceline took a mysterious road trip. Two kings fell in love, and Danny found the spirit of Halloween a little early this year. We're going to check up on the residents of Delmino Island, and I'm also going to add a few new characters. Slender Man, what is going on? I thought he was dreaming there for a second, but it looks like he's dreaming of a new friendship. Let's see who he wants to uh, get closer to. Rosalina is his sweetheart, but maybe he's thinking of somebody else. Mm. Oh, <laughs> it is. W I, I guess because she's a trendsetter, everyone seems to want to meet Emma Watson. Yep, I'm surprised Epona is not more popular. She has the same personality. Maybe be polite, keep it brief. I don't think Emma Watson wants somebody to be flattering. She's famous. And everyone probably compliments her all the time, so don't go with that approach. She, <laughs> For being famous, she seems like she's bored in her apartment. She's just staring into the camera. But yeah, I think Slender Man, he's pretty charming. He has a nice suit. He's an artist. He's independent. His art is kind of crude, and he leaves it hanging up on trees and stuff in the woods. But he's an artist nonetheless, so maybe she'll be impressed with him. We'll see. Oh, oh, oh that's the first time we've gotten that. Okay. I guess they don't want to be friends. That's weird. Slender Man, I guess try again later. Okay, so let's go check out the news. Sometimes I forget to do the mean news, but we should start with it this time. And then we'll add those new characters. Let's see. Ooh, who's in the uh, the little chair there? It's Lemon Grab. What's going on, buddy? <gasps> Astronaut Marceline recently sent down photos from the space station. Astronaut? Marceline blasted off in a rocket ship and arrived at the space station yesterday. <laughs> With tea. She captured the moment on camera and titled the photo being weightless as a blast. <laughs> Marceline has been cooking space pie and she's testing how loss of gravity affects tea pops. <laughs> <laughs> Makes the tea slosh around, I guess. The Taking space That's selfies. <laughs> wow, that caught me off guard. Yeah, I wasn't expecting Thanks Marceline to watching. travel to space, but you know, we're trying to fund the Send up. Dracula to Space uh, <laughs> charity. I've been giving Dracula a pocket change a little bit. We're trying to send him to space, but he needs a lot of money to get there. So maybe he'll go up there and meet Marceline. Let's add these new me's real quick. Oh, we got a news flash right after we added a few new me's. Maybe the apartments are expanding? I'm not sure, but Mario's here. The population on Delmino Island has reached Nice! 50. Finally hit a good milestone here. To celebrate here. the occasion, oh. the entire island hotel was rented out to hold a massive party. One of the new Mises island in the background. Island with pride. This island is really getting popular. It is, yeah! Thanks for watching. Alright. So I added two new Mies. I've got a few more to add. I'm gonna head in here, but uh, we'll add those in a later date. But these guys are in celebration of Smash Brothers coming out. So I added two new Smash characters. We've got Pac-Man here. Look at him. He's so happy. This me was actually made by Namco, I believe. I edited it a little bit. Gave him a kind of a bigger tongue and stuff, so he looks a little more goofy. And then over here, we have the Wii Fit Trainer with her creepy white eyes. <laughs> she almost looked blind or something. But yeah, she's cool. So we've got a few more Smashers in here. Let's see what is going on. A few people have problems. Flame Princess. Man, a lot of people have problems, I guess. Samus is so happy. Bowser is just brooding. Let's help Bowser out. I've heard that Bowser is actually really good in Smash Brothers. I'm looking forward to playing this him. I've been playing the demo, if you guys have noticed on my channel. And I'm also playing through Brawl with Danielle. So if you like Nintendo stuff, definitely check those out. Ooh. What should I say when I'm Oh worried? no. When you're worried. Bowser doesn't seem like he worries that often, but we'll see. If Bowser's worried, it's probably because Mario messed up his plans. So here he goes. Not the plumber. <laughs> Not the plumber again. Messing up my plans. <laughs> Bowser doesn't talk that often anymore. He had a lot of lines in Super Mario Sunshine. At, with uh, That was the game that introduced Bowser Jr. And he talked a lot too. I'm kind of, I'm more used to Bowser Jr. talking for some reason. But when Bowser talks, it's a little strange. His voice actor in that game was kind of funny though. I don't know. Let's see what Rossetti is up to. He was sleeping, but he's thinking about making new friends. I don't really know much about this Mothra character. I don't know if many do. What do you think about me Mothra, Mothra is mysterious. Sometimes she flies in to help people and is save so? the world well, from Godzilla and other kaiju, but she's uh, she's mysterious. 
She can go through many forms, but <laughs> right now she's a moth. I wish there was some type of wing item. I don't know if we'll ever find something like that in here. A lot of people have made some really good suggestions for costumes. I just gotta find some of the right stuff eventually. Ooh, Isabel's dreaming. Let's peek in on her dreams. We've got a, quite a few Animal Crossing characters. I was looking at what characters to add, and I found a few Smash ones that didn't really have any representation with their franchise here. <laughs> uh, somebody who I think would actually go well with Isabel is K.K. Slider as like a cyan ninja. Maybe we'll get another ninja costume here. It's, oh, we already have one ninja costume, so maybe we're getting like a different colored. I like that dream, that's one of my favorites. I don't know why the little ninja popping in is really cute. So yeah, I could see Isabel and K.K. Slider. First off, they're both dogs. Not that that means much in the Animal Crossing world. I think anybody in the Animal Crossing world could be with anybody else as long as they're happy. Well, also in this world you could be with, but yeah. <laughs> in, in Animal Crossing, I think because Isabel is so stressed and she's always just kind of hanging out in the office doing work, I think K.K. Slider could really mellow her out, help her with some, some tunage, make her relax. That is the Terminator throwing a barbecue. Hopefully that is not human. <laughs> no, because Terminator is always going after people. That would be really creepy. It, whatever it is, Goofy, Lemon Grab, and Ponyo all seem like they love it. All right. Oh, I could have. You can, I guess, blow on the grill there. I don't know if I want to go back and do that again. It's Tomodachi, it's Tomodachi Quest time. We've done that a few times, so I'm not going to do that. I want to. <laughs> now there's a different barbecue. We've got Isabel. Poe, Rossetti, and Dracula. If you notice, I gave Dracula a new outfit. He has like a pirate outfit. I thought that would kind of fit with his old-fashioned clothing, like uh, Vlad Tepes, but I uh, I took the hat off. Here we go, let's try this. There we go, I think we fixed the meat from being burnt or something. Whatever it was, I guess it helped them out. Okay, it's funny how like <laughs> there's like shifts of people at the barbecue. One second, there's four people, and the next they're all uh, gone, and there's somebody else in there. Mothra is just kind of chilling out. She's eating some delicious cake. No, no drama has happened at the cafe yet. I really want something to happen where people are hanging out. Somebody just pops in. Somebody's at the beach. We got to check out the shops for today. It's Velma. <gasps> Uh-oh. What am I doing? I hope I don't... I, usually when people walk by at the fountain or the beach, they don't say anything to each other. But I'm wondering. I don't think I have anything for Velma. I don't. She's cute, but she's married to Goofy, and I've got another girl. In my, I've set my eye on, so I'm not gonna worry about Velma. I'm just there at the beach, hanging out. Okay, grab some money. Oh no, Dracula's... Did Dracula like his pirate hat more? Because it looks like he put it on. He looks like Napoleon or something with that. Oh man. Because yeah, the Mies can change their costumes if they, uh, they happen to like different clothing better. Let's see what we got today. Big ribbon dress. That would... Ooh. I don't know if that... Actually, it kind of reminds me of some of the other... Uh, we were looking for something for Pooh that was red, but that's a, more of a dress. I don't think that would fit him as well. A silk blazer. Sleeveless shirt. That definitely looks like some type of J-pop thing or something. Alright, the bear shirt, we got like a green version of it, because I bought one of those to give it to Freddy Fazbear. Welcome. Let's see, comb over wig, horns, a spoon cap. Ooh, nice. It almost looks like the, the hard hat that Rossetti has on. I don't know if we have anybody that swims very much. Uh, the Wii Fit Trainer is probably into a bunch of different exercising things. And there's like, I, I figured she would fit really well because we have like the Wii Fit we can give her, I think, but we also have like different yoga stuff and all these different things that would fit her well. The library. Hmm, that would probably go well with Oak. I don't know about this checkered one. Let me buy the library and we can give that to Professor Oak. He's always studying Good stuff. Let's go back into the apartments and try to uh, give some gifts. I forget, I have a lot of stuff for people and I'm trying to keep it all sorted, but hopefully we can find somebody who uh, wants some of the stuff that we've got. Look at these love birds. I'm glad that the party man actually found love. Professor Oak is in here somewhere, I believe. I added him fairly early, if I remember correctly. He's gotta be, oh, he's down at the bottom, isn't he? I thought he was hanging out with some of these people. Look at Dracula. I want to take that pirate hat off, but he's so happy. I don't feel like I should uh, judge. He's, ooh, Professor Oak over with Emma Watson. So many people are trying to work their way into her heart, but I guess Professor Oak smarts. He, uh, he smooth talked her with his brains and his knowledge of Pokemon. Like. Okay. On vacation or something? No, I was not. I was hanging out, playing a lot of Smash Brothers, but I'm still making time for you, Professor Oak. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> there we go. I think that looks good with him. Thanks for the amazing right. I should just start going through and just be like, okay, these characters don't have interiors. 
don't have clothes, and then we can just kind of go by that about who should uh, deserve the gifts the most. Oh, we so many books. You can also view interiors from your collection of town hall. Oh, thank you. He is a brainiac. He's telling me tips about the game. <laughs> He's not even just nice. talking about his own stuff. All right. Oh, we leveled up. Okay. What are we gonna give the professor here? I don't know if we've given anyone a book yet, so I'm just gonna give him a book. And there we go. Yeah, he, <laughs> he has like 50 million. I just noticed, but he can't use any of the ones in the background. They're not real books. They're just there for decoration. Decoration. Make him look smarter. I want to talk to uh, Pac-Man and the Wii Fit Trainer. She's, man, she's resting on her yoga mat. She needs to get exercising. Pac-Man, I don't know what clothes to give him. And the Wii Fit Trainer, hopefully we can find some type of, like, yoga outfit or something for her that will fit. Marceline. Look at her. <laughs> I feel like I should give her something different. I like the hat on her, but the shirt makes her look like she's just rowing a gondola in Venice. There we go. That's, they're both really popular, so I think they would get what along well. What should I well. do to get along with her? I don't know, just, uh, keep it brief. I wonder if Slenderman Thanks being pro polite, I'll she was like, I don't right care now. about... She wants somebody who's, like, edgy and cool, and Slenderman, he's just, you know, he's not cool enough for her, I guess. He's not as trendy as he used to be. Back in the, the day, not a couple years ago, or not that long ago, Slenderman was so popular, everybody was playing his game. Everybody's afraid of him, but now I think everyone's moved on to other creepypasta and things, I guess. It's all about Freddy Fazbear and Jeff the Killer or whatever all those things are. <laughs> I don't keep up with a lot of that stuff, but but yeah. Let's see. Oh, it did go very well. It worked. So new now friends they have now, thanks to you. New friendships forming right before our eyes. I wonder what when her and Garfield are gonna tie the knot. Here, I want you to have <laughs> That's another child that would look bizarre. Got a bat set. Should we? I I want. I kind of want to level up Dracula because we really gotta start giving him some pocket change. Let me see. Where's Dracula? He's down here. Let's take that hat off of him. Even though he loves it, I feel bad. I'm gonna take the hat off, but. I want to try to level him hey, as much as we can when we have money, it's so great to see you. because uh, otherwise he's not going to go to space anytime soon. It's just funny that yeah, he like took the hat off and he's like, no, I want to wear the hat. I want to be a pirate. Okay, what do we? Do we have any gifts that we could give him? Hmm. I don't know if. What does the fan even do? Survive the summer heat. Dracula's always worried about, you know, probably blowing up or Sounds going like into dust now when he's in the, in the sun, so maybe he'll like this fan. Is All this your fans are belong to me. <laughs> he's talking like Darth Vader in the fan. Everyone's done that once or twice, right? Let's change the speed. Speed it up a little bit. There's nothing like fresh air. <laughs> Level three. His hair's flying back. <laughs> you can just feel the power of the fan. Just, man. She's on the seashore. <laughs> he speaks faster when you turn it up, it looks like. Okay. Well, he enjoyed that, I hope. I don't know if that's enough to level him up again. It's we'll so see. nice and breezy I had now. to give Dracula a bunch of stuff when he was sad the other day, because uh, he got rejected by Peach, I think it was. Let me see. Do we have any interior that we could give him? Humble. We could give... The jail cell is pretty creepy. This seems like something maybe Dracula would like. I could always get another one of these if uh, it ends up not being something he likes or it fits with somebody else better. Look at this, it's Thanks creepy. For the new <laughs> it's certainly unique. There's a hole in the wall where the men Wanna can see it. Oh, no, there's a hole where somebody could escape it looks like. There it is. Somebody's been digging out with a spoon. <laughs> That's so funny. Awesome. And there's a toilet and yeah, not so much in here for amenities. What do we have here? He could at least write at that desk with the weird bugs going around. This is creepy enough for him until we hopefully can get some type of graveyard nice. thing. I'm hoping when Halloween gets close, we might have some more spooky interiors. Anything else we can get him to put him over the top? He didn't seem to really like that. Uh, <laughs> he didn't seem to like that interior that much, at least not enough to go up. Oh, I was going to give myself the uh, the one. What is that? The The hat there, the mushroom hat. I bought that for myself. Should we give Dracula the pompadour? Because it gives him kind of a widow's peak. Let me see how this looks on him. If he wants a hat, I'm going to give him a full head of hair. Let me see. I think that that actually kind of does look a little more like Dracula's hair, even though it's a bit of a greaser look, too. He's got that widow's peak, and he leveled up. Awesome. All right, let me know if you think the, bom the pompadour looks good on him, though. Okay, don't want to give him too much, but I'm going to give him $400 in pocket money. I think we have to get to, like, 10000 or something crazy. Thanks. Yeah. Now I just Jeez. Need 9, That's one of my last goals in this game. I want to get Dracula to space. <laughs> I don't know why. This is Dracula. He's going to space. It's one of his goals. It's one of his dreams and mine as well. I want to... I'll probably try to... Uh, 
wait until I'm married in the in the game, not in real life, and have a home and have a kid, and then I think we can probably end the series there. Maybe we'll. Uh, I, I got another song I want to do next time, and I have more me's to add. There's still lots of stuff to do, but again, we we'll go as far as we can in this, and as, as long as you guys want to keep watching, I'll keep playing. Thank you guys for watching. Again, if you want to. Uh, check out Smash. I've been giving away some uh, Smash Brothers codes if you want to play the demo and you have a 3DS and you live in North North America. How about... I think Marceline would like something funny. She's always joking around and pranking. Hey, thank you guys for watching. We're going to finish up with this little scene here with Midna. I think Midna and Marceline would really get along because she's like a prankster as well. And they're both a little like creepy demonic, but they're also cool and they could be nice and stuff. They seem a little scary, but they're actually nice deep down inside. Thank you guys for watching and joining me back on Delmino Island for more Tomodachi Life. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. Next time we're going to have another song, another group performance. It will be a techno song, so if you want to leave suggestions on who you think should perform that, let me know. There we go. Awesome. She's almost leveled up as well. Alright guys, see you next time for more Tomodachi Life. Goodbye. Ooh, a camera. Thank you.